JT has been making moves and LAFC are starting to look a little scary. Let's talk about it. The day has finally arrived. Thank goodness John Thornton has finally delivered to the black and gold faithful. And I've been preaching it all off season, all off season. I knew he was gonna deliver because I saw what was on our plate. All the gam, all the tam, all the jam, all the ham. Everything set up for us to make a fantastic meal. And if there's any chef that's gonna cook it right, it's gonna be JT because he understands how this business works and he understands how this league functions. Then I have people yelling at me and asking me, Jerry, what the hell is gam? My response to that is, what the hell is an NFT? At this point, it don't even matter anymore. All you need to know is that JT had some spare Garber bucks and he spent it well. It's been a long journey for the black and gold in order for them to get to where they are today with their roster build process, which leads to one question. Our midfield is set, our defense is intact. We have a goalkeeper. I think the only question that needs to be answered is, what took John Thornton so long to get this done? And I think the answer to that is couponing. He was busy looking for coupons. What kind of coupons exactly? Damn! General allocation money can be used also within a bargaining method, which I will now call the Thorington Theorem. And to get a better understanding of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the two previous signings for LAFC and their deals. Let's first take a look at Kellen Acosta, who was acquired from the Colorado Rapids in exchange for $1.1 million in general allocation money. The fascinating part about this bargaining method is that with the help of GAM, you're able to split the payments within several seasons. So for instance, John Thorns will be paying Colorado 550 k within the next two seasons to fulfill that $1.1 million in GAM that LAFC owes Colorado. The Maxime Crapo deal is very similar to Kellen Acosta's deal. Only difference is that the payments are split into three different seasons in exchange for 1 million, 250K for the first two seasons and 500K for the third season, depending on Crapo's roster status at that time. Now there is a very similar trade situation reportedly happening between FC Dallas and DC United as Dallas is trying to acquire DC United's DP Paul Ariola for 2 million in GAM, which is pretty hefty. So, hypothetically, if you think about it, we are getting two Paul Ariolas for the price of one. And in McDonald's, they call that a McPick 2, baby. <laughs> JT has done his part. Torundo is seeming to do his. You see all the smiles on the player's face during training camp right now. I mean, look at Vela. Vela's smile. That's a beautiful smile. It's been a long time we've seen that. Now it's time for the player to take initiative. The manager can set the game plan. The, the general manager can put the players on the pitch, but it's the players on the pitch that have to do their part. That's how we trust the process. We can't trust one individually. We have to trust them all together. That is the unit, which is LAFC. Trust the black and gold process that JT has put for us here in this upcoming season. So are we still JT out or are we now JT in? Or is it too soon to say? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for tuning in to this very first special episode that I've created on this new YouTube channel, The Los Angeles Saga, created by yours truly, Jerry Reynoso. I'm looking forward to doing many more kind of videos like these, and uh, yeah, just have some fun. Again, hope you guys all have a blessed one, and let's go LAFC. LA is black and gold.